y'all it's your boy Devon, I'm back with another lit video. And the first thing for me, y'all hit the like button, subscribe, and turn that bell on if you're new. That's the first thing we do for this for the video to start, bro. Like, all that I need to do is hit the like button, subscribe, turn the bell on, and then comment. It's that simple before the video start. But anyways, y'all, we got rappers called Lacking. I don't know why I've been liking these videos, hip hop daily. It's I don't think I really kind of watch on YouTube. But we'll go right to this video, man, and let's get it. Getting rich and famous lets you live a wild lifestyle, but it also puts a target on your back. Being a rapper is actually one of the most dangerous jobs you can have. And today, we're breaking down the biggest artist in the game. You hear about? Moving right. You hear about? Call Lackey. Let's get right into it. Well, why is this nigga behind the camera? I don't know what his name is or who he is, but this nigga talking crazy. Like, bro, I, I hope this nigga don't get called Lackey. He talking crazy. Hope his ass been as P's all day. Rapping. What he talking? He was got. Shot back in June when Lil TJ got shot seven times during a robbery in New Jersey. He was sitting in the whip with two homies when a dude walked up and tried to rob him. At some point, shots started going off and TJ and one of his boys got hit. Someone in the car was shooting back though, and the robber got hit too during all the chaos. At first, it didn't look like TJ was gonna make it. He was unconscious for a long time. Nobody knew if he was gonna wake back up. But two months after it went down, he had on IG to thank everyone for the support. Two months. <laughs> But two months after it went down, he had on IG to thank everyone for the support. I just want to say thanks for the love, thanks for the support. I've been looking at the DMs, you know what I'm saying, the comments, and everything else. But I want to go to New York, I ain't gonna lie. I, I never knew that, but I wanted to go to New York for a long ass time. I always hear about the Bronx, Queens, and Harlem and shit like that. I don't know, I just want to go to the shit, you know. I don't know. Love. Then he dropped the track Beat the Odds and said, I do my own thing. F it. I took seven shots, no shame. Back to wall, I'm still gonna blow you down. I ain't no stain. And blow you down. Wow, what you mean by that? Cause we catch a op and send him to the sky. They be like, TJ, why do you move around with all them guns? I just tell them that's cause I don't wanna die. And trust me, I don't lie. Can't fuck up. I'm a star right now. If I wasn't quick to blow, I would be in the stars right now. TJ also dropped a freestyle over 50 Cent's Many Men beat and allegedly called out A Boogie with the hoodies homie, Trap Manny with the line, like what? Mr. Manny steady talking like he tough. Caught his ass, ain't had no pole, and he went skipping off the dust. That's when A Boogie's homie yeah. Don Q dropped a diss track called IDK and rapped. I used to. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Don Q, I heard that nigga in a while, but I, used to, I heard. I remember one song for a nigga as I used to listen to, bro. Mm -hmm, I don't remember. like you. I'm so happy they ain't finished the job, but you must got a death wish. You try to mention the squad. Got shot, now you saying names all over your raps. Boy, I could imagine what you told the detects. Got about the hospital, now you over aggressive Cause they almost sent you to your maker over your necklace TJ never responded Damn. to this though He's been busy recovering and trying to get back on his grind Thank you September, he yeah, made his make it rolling loud And a couple weeks ago, he linked up with Ice Spice to hand out Thanksgiving meals in the Bronx Luckily TJ I'm a munch, just so y'all know, just let, just let her know if she's watching the video Ice Spice is watching the video, I'm a munch He survived getting shot seven times and hopefully he'll start rolling with more security to make sure he doesn't get caught up in another situation like that. G Herbo's a Chicago rapper G Herbo. came up in an area called Terror Town. He had a wild come up repping NLMB and saw his first murder at just nine years old. Herbo jumped off the porch at a young age. And while he was still in the streets, he caught a bullet in the foot and almost got hit in the head too. Damn. Luckily Herbo survived the streets and made it in the rap game. But in October, he had another close call. <laughs> but I tried to lay it with the air boy. was like a goddamn. Still in the streets, he caught a bullet in the foot. Uh -huh. Almost got hit in the head too. Luckily, Herbo survived by the streets and made it. He's like a ball. ball. I don't know, bro. Him being ball look funny as hell. I don't know. That shit like. Y'all ever seen Hell Boy? Y'all know Hell know Boy. Look it up, bro. Jerbo got hair like Hell Boy ass. Let me get shit. Got, like, he had knots on the side of the But in October, he had another close call. Somebody allegedly tried to take him out while he was on stage. On October 14th, Herbo was performing at Clark University in Atlanta when a shot went off out of nowhere. Damn. In the video from the set, you can see everyone take a second to realize what was happening after they heard the shot. Then everyone starts panicking and running for cover. It's not clear exactly what bro, was happening. Bro, people, I be watching people like when they go through a uh, crowd shooting and shit, bro. Everybody get on the ground. So really, if you just shoot, if you want to be smart, if you just shoot the ground. Down, or if anyone really tried to take Herbo out, but he ain't even flinched when he heard the shot. Most people will start ducking behind security, but when you're from a hood called Terror Town, you just get used to wild situations like that. 
Ralphie OSS is a rapper from Philly who went viral earlier this year for getting ran down on with a switch in broad daylight. Damn. Damn. Ralphie was chilling on the block with some homies when the car pulled up and the shooter hopped out during the shot. Switch, boy. Ralphie got shot in both legs and hit the ground. But luckily, the shooter's gun jammed up and Ralphie was able to run inside the I know he's mad as hell right now. Let's go. And got his burner working again. But when he got to the door, someone from inside the shop and started Rico. shooting back. The shooter ran back the other way, but he tripped over a scooter on the ground and the clip flew out of his gun. Damn. Ralphie ran back out of the store while the shooter hopped in the getaway car and drove off. Ralphie did an interview with Say Cheese TV and broke the situation down. According to him, when he got in the corner store, he saw an old man. Hey, look at the old man. The broke the situation. Look at this thing. Why are they closing this thing? Watch this shit. Down. According to him, when he got in the corner store, Oh, oh man, they going over. Look at this shit, boy. Broke the situation down. What is that? Down and see that's what's going on. Store, he saw an old man in there too. Ralphie didn't want to get the old dude hit, so he. What old man? Nose his hair, bro. Get your ass in the store, boy. He's not back here watching this shit, boy. Get your ass on. The corner store. He saw an old man in there too. Ralphie didn't want to get the old dude hit, so he ran back out just to get away from the situation. Old head was in there. I'm coming his way. He like, oh my god, he. he I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. The old head we just had that popped in. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I don't get shot at good. I don't give a fuck who's around me, bro. I'm running the music is my shield, bro. I don't care, bro, at all. Like, fuck, y'all niggas. Bro, you living like, you like 60 years old, you living like, let me live mine. Please, nigga. Fuck that. You get on the ground and shit. So I'm like, damn, cuz behind me. I'm like, damn, I'm gonna get old and killed. This audiobook about he, 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 he's smarter than me, shit. I mean, he, uh, he fuck, he, he better than me, boy. I got old head ass drop. Like, when he get on the ground, I jump over and, like, fuck it. If I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die by myself. I ain't gonna get old and killed. Like, when I'm so where is this he ended up having to spend a week in the hospital. Like weird nigga. Ralphie got really lucky. If the shooter's gun didn't jam up when Ralphie fell down, he probably wouldn't have made it out alive. And if the clip didn't go dead. flying out of his gun, he could have shot Ralphie again when he ran out of the store. Fortunately, Ralphie made a full recovery and he's back on his grind. And he says he realizes how lucky he is to be alive today. Quando Rondo is famous for being involved with the death of King Von back in 2020. And he's had a target on his back ever since. A lot of King Von's homies been talking about their get back. And in August, Quando almost got taken out when some dudes caught him lacking in LA. Quando and his homies are at a gas bro, station. LA dangerous as hell right now for anybody, bro. Rappers, entertainers, whatever, bro. I wanna know why. I just wanna talk to an LA nigga and see what the fuck, like, see what's going on in LA for real. I ain't never been, but I wanted to go, but now I don't wanna go. Three shooters pulled up on them and started letting off shots. Of course, started. Bro, gas, $7 in LA a gallon. Line. But so my dick was seven Quando got shot and killed, but it turns out shooters completely missed him. Unfortunately, Quando's homie Lil Pap got hit and later died from his injuries. A tragic video came out showing Quando screaming while the cops pulled Pap's body out of their Escalade. What makes the situation even worse is that another one of his homies was killed in Savannah less than a day earlier. Nobody mm. knows who was behind the hit, but Quando ain't letting to keep him down. He just dropped a collab album with his homie Youngboy Never Broke Again, and his name is buzzing in the industry more than ever. Jay Money is a rapper from Atlanta, known for working with artists like the Migos, Shawty Lowe, Boosie, and way more. Back in June, he celebrated beating cancer, but last week, he got caught in LA and was shot three times, plus had his jewelry stolen. Jay mm. Money was chilling with a rapper named King Lee, who's actually the crown prince of the Korean royal family. Jay Money was sitting in King Lee's Rolls Royce outside of a luxury apartment complex in Koreatown. And that's when two goons walked up and robbed him in broad daylight. Jay Money was breathing when the ambulance came, but later reports came out that he's in critical condition. Nobody's been arrested yet, but it's wild that somebody would get robbed and shot in the area like that. Was he so dead or not? Apparent situation to FBG Duck, who got killed in Chicago's wealthy Gold Coast neighborhood. But it looks like the Jay Money case was just a straight up robbery that turned violent instead of a targeted murder. Hopefully, Jay Money pulls through and makes a full recovery. Oh, uh, sure. It's Jimmy a Gaston is a rapper from LA who's known for dissing people for clout. After Nipsey was killed, he started claiming to be the shooter, and he even threw a cup full of pee on Nipsey's mural. Gaston actually came up as a Minecraft YouTuber, but he started going crazy. He's on social media, chasing clout, and trying to act hard. He threatened dudes like Crip Mac on IG yeah, Live before, but there's a couple videos going around showing what he's really like when the ops catch him lacking. One video shows someone spotting him in the street, and when they try to press him, Gaston allegedly ran into the police station. <laughs> in another clip, some. <laughs> bro, it ain't funny, but it is. Like, what the. Bro, why do you want to add gangster cut and run to the police station? 
Get us some Charles to White Age. She saw him in court, said they were gonna put hands on him. But it's not clear if he actually caught a beating. A lot of people want to get famous off of social media and acting wild like Gaston does is one way to get eyes on you. But when you're going around dissing legends like Nipsey and acting like you something you're not, it's only a matter of time before someone catches you lacking. Hopefully, Gaston just goes back to making Minecraft videos before the wrong person spots him and something serious goes down. Main music is a rapper from Baton Rouge. Miami music in my bar, I don't care. And Soldier Slim flow too. Free Miami music, right now, free He's serving a seven year sentence on a federal gun charge. Free Miami, free Miami. I can't wait to take one right now, boy. A few years ago, Main started beefing with another rapper from Baton Rouge and Sherwood Marty. It's not clear exactly how everything went down, but Main got caught lacking and his whip got shot up 37 times. Hey. Main got hit three times. Luckily, none of the shots were serious. He was able to recover. After it went down, he hopped in the booth and dropped the track Insurance, where he rapped, caught me off it, beat me in the ass, they hit me in the leg. And this is, this is, he let me make sure I heard that right. Rapped, caught me off it, beat me in the ass, they hit me in the leg. In the arm, in the thigh, but it could have been the head. But instead, they had their eyes closed. They thought I was dead. And I'm six foot six. Damn. Damn. Missed 37 shots. How you hit three out of 37? NBA. I was by my side, or them shooters was blind. It's wild that Maine is still around today after getting caught like that. He used to rock with young boy before he got booked. So maybe when he gets back out, he'll have the chance to link back up with him and leave the streets behind for good. We're gonna drag in something, something chill. Uh, let's end the video. The well, y'all, yeah, let's end the video, man. Damn. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and the bell on if y'all new, man. If y'all want to see more reactions, hit the like button and get this to 100 likes. We're out of here, y'all. Bye.